beautiful bunnies and welcome to a new build today. Today we're doing a Game of Thrones inspired kind of what the community has called as a dollhouse build. Um, but uh, to me it kind of just looks like like a set piece or something like that. Um, so you can call it what with what you will. Um, and for those of you guys too who haven't seen season 8 yet, um, don't worry I'm recording this before season 8 has like premiered on television so this video will be spoiler free <laughs> um, and for those of you guys who don't watch Game of Thrones well you should first of all <laughs> but second of all I can't act like I have been following the show for a long time because I literally just got into it a month ago two of my friends have told me like oh my god I need to watch the show it's so good get on it and like I said in my other video over break when I wasn't writing like my 10 page papers and all that fun stuff and doing Spanish homework. I, I was watching this television show. So I had a nice refreshing break um, with a TV show that was anything less than boring because there's so much juicy drama and you guys know how I feel about all that juicy drama not on um, watching TV shows because I love it. Anyway, um, I, yeah, so this build was kind of interesting because I never really never really did a build like this before. And as you guys know, like this is been something new. I believe a creator called Smart Milk um, on Tumblr or something like that started the trend within the community to do this. Um, and I just got so inspired by other people and their other uh, their builds and things like that. But I knew that I wanted to do something completely different. Like I didn't want to do just an average one. And I was like, you know what? Game of Thrones is on Sunday. Why don't we go ahead and actually do something fun like this? Especially too, because the Sims 4 is a game set in modern times, so it's kind of fun and interesting being creative and seeing what you could do to try to make it like fit the aesthetic of like a different time period. And I think I did pretty well. I think I did pretty well, especially because the um, Get Famous pack with all the set pieces came in a big handy for this because I was able to use like the big thing like the throne and like the ship steering wheel thing and like the oil lamps and things like that and the swords to like really really make it look authentic and I think I did good um I want to say it is based off of any castle in particular really to be honest I think honestly just kind of like a mix of being inspired of the Winterfell cat the Winterfell castle um, uh, the Red Keep and um, Dragonstone and for those of you guys who don't watch you guys are probably wondering like what the heck is she talking about what what is she nerding out about <laughs> but those are basically castles within Game of Thrones um, but yeah, I just, I want to ask you guys too, for those of you guys who, that do watch, um, how did you guys like the premiere? How did you guys like the first episode? Um, like I said, I have, I am recording this at the time where I haven't watched it yet, um, on purpose because I didn't want to ruin it for anybody, but yeah, let me know if you guys liked it, if you guys were shook by anything that happened, <laughs> put it in the comments down below, but warn people if you're gonna put spoilers, by the way, because we, we don't do that here, we don't, that's not nice, we don't do that, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, guys, I also, too, I was, like, thinking, um, more about um like build different builds and different things i want to do in the channel um because obviously this is a total break from our normal um rebuilding strange town like my save file um and i was like you know what i was like we need a break we need you know a little bit of a refresher every now and then especially too because on the channel i've been like doing that straight for a long time now it feels like so i feel like it's nice to have a video thrown in there that isn't completely just about um you know like just about strange town and all that um i'm sorry here too like we're taking a break i don't know what i was doing maybe i got up to use the bathroom or something like that but yeah i was taking a little little break from this but yeah i don't know i don't know about you guys but when i build i really really like to go ahead and pull out a bunch of things first to see if i'm gonna use them and then I and then I actually start arranging them. I don't know if anyone else is the, anyone else does that, but yeah, I do that a lot. And as you can see here too, yeah, we finally found like the little throne piece. Um, I almost thought about getting a custom content one for this build, but I was like, you know what? No, I was like, we have a throne. It's not the throne, but we have one, and that's good enough for me. Because <laughs> I don't really use a lot of build by CC. That's one thing I never was really into that much. 
I never was a huge build by CC person, but I love my create a sim. Um, I love my create a sim custom content, which I have to go on a major like CC shopping spree <laughs> when like um, like when I get out of school or something like that because I have like majorly so many pieces that I wanted to download, um, but I haven't gotten a chance to. I don't, haven't gotten a chance to. Which brings me to my next point that I actually really wanted to talk about. So how do you guys feel about that collab between Moschino and The Sims 4? So, like, I think it's honestly kind of weird, but I think it's cool at the same time. But, I don't know, I have, like, mixed feelings about it because I really, really love designer things. Like, I really, really love designer things. I have a, I have a few, um, I have a few designer pieces myself. I've got a couple of Gucci purses, as well as a Valentino bag. So, like, I can appreciate some good, expensive shit. I really could. But, I feel like my issue with this collab is, is that, yes, they're expensive because they're designer, but who's gonna actually wear a freezer bunny t-shirt of Moshi a Moshino for $600 or like not $600 what is it like three like nearly like $400 I don't remember the price I think the sweater was like nearly $600 but I don't know about you guys but I feel like that's just kind of a waste of money like even if you had that money like why would you like why would you buy that kind of thing um but yeah I don't know because like I was just thinking about it because like I was excited about it because like yes designer 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 objects and sims fucking love them <laughs> but not together i feel like that's so i feel like it's a little weird it's a little definitely a little odd i just wanted to hear you guys' opinions on it i do really like the collaboration i think it's cool um i just it's just a little out there you know i just i just don't really i i don't really get it i get it from a creative standpoint but i just don't really understand like who the target audience for this would be to buy because it definitely doesn't really feel like very it doesn't really feel like it like it really goes with our community i don't know that's just maybe that's just me of, because of course there's people like me that like love that like love designer bags and things like that and like love like looking at designer clothes and stuff like that even though that like you i'm probably i'm not gonna afford them on the norm <laughs> in fact most of my stuff that i've ever gotten are like christmas gifts and birthday gifts which is nice but um yeah i just it's just interesting you know i'm just curious just very curious um but yeah going back to this build as you can see too I also gotten a chance to use like a lot of things from um, Get Together as well as the Vampire Pack. The Vampire Pack came in very handy for this too because I have really ornate looking objects and things like that and it just it fit the theme really really nice and I was really happy with the way this turned out in the end. Like I was surprised that I actually was able to actually pull it off really really that well. Um, especially too because I was like how am I going to put a bathroom in here? without actually putting a bathroom because obviously this is medieval times so they don't really have real bathrooms but i went in debug menu and i found the wooden tub and i found the weird stuff and we got it all guys we got it all i even found some random swords on the floor so like we we actually have it all this build we have it all <laughs> so i'm curious to see if you guys like it or you guys think that it's a little off i don't know i will see we'll see obviously i can't please everybody but yeah so, my thoughts for the final season. So, I am prepared for everybody to die. <laughs> I am very prepared for everybody to die, even though I don't want people to die. I know I know for a fact that if either Daenerys or Jon dies, I'm going to might be like crying for like 3 days over it. Which I have a feeling that one or the other is going to die. I really do in my heart. As far as that though, I have no clue who I think is going to who I think is going to go. Mm. I have a I have a feeling Brienne is gonna die and Jamie are gonna die. Um, who else do I think is gonna die? I think Sans is gonna live. I don't know why, but I feel like Sans is gonna make it out, and I feel like Arya might make it out too. I feel like Bran might die, but I feel like Bran is a three-eyed raven, so I feel like he might die in like some weird mystical way where he's not really dead, but he's dead. <laughs> You, you know you know what I'm trying to say right guys um but yeah th those are like my thoughts for like the final season I'm, I'm curious if you guys have any like good theories or not I feel like this entire video has just 
been me about just going on about game of thrones <laughs> and i hate it because i because i generally hate being like oh like game of thrones blah 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 because it's it is kind of a little nerdy i'm not gonna lie and i don't really like being a nerd but i'll be a nerd about this <laughs> um but yeah i'm just really excited i hope you guys enjoy um the episode the premiere if you guys haven't seen it yet and if you have um I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come um, back to the channel next week, of course, for a video, because I took a really long break, but it feels really, really nice to be back. I miss all of you guys so, so much, like I've said last video, and yeah, we should be back, probably back with um, Strange Town type stuff. If not, then I don't know, maybe it'll be a surprise, but I did definitely record something for Strange um, Town, so like we'll see if that actually makes it to a video. I did a little makeover on the grunts. Um, so yeah, that should be interesting to see. But yeah, make sure you guys comment, rate, and subscribe if you're not already. As well as, you know, like let me know what you guys um, want to see next for me on the channel. Um, and yeah, just make sure you guys enjoy. Enjoy the channel. Go on a binge session because we need it. We just hit 2,000 subscribers. So thank you guys all so, so much for subscribing to me and being part of the channel. It means so, so, so much to me that you guys stay here and watch and comment and do all those lovely things. It's so flattering.